People of God, good day. I bring you special greetings from our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the Lord has yet again something special for you, and I know that you shall surely be blessed. In Jesus' precious, matchless name, Amen. Today, we want to look at the topic I've entitled, Do Not Offend One of These Little Ones. Do Not Offend One of These Little Ones. Hallelujah. It will interest you to know that every soul is a soul and every soul is important to God. Hallelujah. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4 says, It is God's will that all men be saved and come to the understanding or the knowledge of the truth. Glory be to God. So God does not joke with souls. Praise the Lord. And that is why as a believer, it is our priority to always win souls for the kingdom because the bible says heaven rejoice when one soul turns to god hallelujah now in as much as we win souls to the church we must be very careful to sustain these souls in the church jesus speaking in matthew chapter 11 verse 28 say come unto me O ye that labor and with a heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke and learn of me hallelujah praise the lord now jesus said come all ye hallelujah thieves come prostitutes come arm robbers come sinners come now we must understand that when jesus came to earth he came to die for sinners he didn't come to die for the righteous hallelujah glory be to god jesus came to die for the sinners because he loved the world for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son who was in the world when jesus died sinners praise the lord so we as christians we must be very 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 careful when we are dealing with sinners who the bible said god loved to the extent of sending his own son you must understand that god did not send his son to his friends he sent his son to his enemies the bible said for you were once enemies but god reconciled you to himself through the blood of his son jesus christ hallelujah why am I saying this? Today I went onto the field to reach out to souls and I met some guys who were smoking and who were drinking alcohol. They were smoking weed actually, hallelujah. And they were on dreadlocks looking with tattoos and all that. So I approached them and I sat with them and I was sharing the word of God. When some of them saw me they didn't hide the secret even when i introduced myself to be a man of god they didn't hide the, the secret they were smoking confidently hallelujah but can i tell you this as i went into the word and i kept on the word the guy had no choice but to quench the the thing he was smoking and put it down and listen praise the lord and then he told me something that touched me he said you see when i saw you I thought you were just one of these people that come around and condemn us but when you started speaking the word of God the word has pricked my heart and he has made me to drop this thing and I asked him do you go to church he said no I said why don't you go to church he said because the church when they go to church people condemn them when they go to church people reject them when they go to church people begin to treat them like outcasts I say why he said because of their dreadlocks when people see them in church they begin to behave funny towards them they begin to behave holy towards them hallelujah and that is the reason why these young men have stopped going to church for years now. Why? Because they have dreadlocks and so many churches are rejecting them. And I was shocked to the spirit. Hallelujah. Why was I shocked? It seems we are misunderstanding the place of the church. What is the church? The church, the Hebrew name for the church is Ecclesia. Hallelujah. The church means called at once or called at people if you like. Now, the building is not the church. The church is the people in the building. Why? Because we are the temple of the Lord. When we say called at once, who are we talking about? Was it the pastors called or who? Are they special people? No, let's take a look at people who were called to become the church or who were called to worship God. Can you open your Bible with me to Luke chapter 14 verse 21? It says, Now go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor, the maid, and the halt, and the blind. Hallelujah. Verse 22. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. He said, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come that my house may be full. Hallelujah. Did you see people who were called into the church? People who were called into the church are sinners. People with all kinds of problems, the poor, the blind, the maimed, any kind of issue. Hallelujah. So the church should accommodate 
armed robbers. The church should accommodate prostitutes. The church should accommodate people with all kind of character. Why? Because the church is like a hospital. Now, when you go to the hospital, you don't go to the hospital and find healthy people in the hospital. You go to the hospital and find what is sick people. Praise the Lord. Now, the nurses and the doctors in the hospital, when they see sick people, they don't begin to act some kind of way or they don't begin to reject them. They know, they know that this is the only place that these people can come and receive their healing. So they attend to them and they come to the hospital sick, but they leave healed. That is how the church is. The church must be able to accommodate people, accommodate sinners who, when they come with their sicknesses and all manner of lifestyle, when they stay in the church, by the word, they can be transformed. Romans chapter 10 verse 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. How will they hear if they don't come to the house of God where the word is preached? Hallelujah. So when I was preaching the gospel to these young men, they were so excited because nobody has ever approached them in their garden to speak to them. People has always placed a judgment on them like they are bad people because they smoke weed and because they drink. Hallelujah. And they really wanted to hear the word. They were asking so many questions because they were so inquisitive to hear the word. But if the churches had accepted these people, they would have heard the, 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 the word in the church. The only way to have faith is through the word and this word is preached in the house of god so the church is a hospital and it must be able to accommodate sick people and with time through the power of the word they can get healed and their life can be transformed we have seen cases where people come to church with dreadlocks and when they stay in the church for a couple of uh, months or dear about or a couple of time they cut off the hair People who were into one bad thing or the other when they come to the church through the refining of the word their lives are transformed hallelujah Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says what for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword to the cutting and piercing asunder of bone and marrow and is the designer of the air uh, thoughts of the heart hallelujah so the word of god is able to penetrate anything it is able to kill any habit it is able to change anybody listen to this you cannot change anybody by your power. The only thing or the only thing that can change anybody is the word of God. Hallelujah. So how would they hear the word if they're not allowed into the church? No church, as a matter of fact, has the right to drive anybody from the church. Why? Because the church does not belong to you. The church belongs to Jesus. Mind you, you must be very careful. Jesus calls the church his wife and is very much important the, the church is the wife of god and jesus said men love your wife as christ loved the church and was able to die for the church listen jesus has died for his church the church is his don't be driving people out of god's presence because that is the only place they can have transformation okay if you tell the guy with a dreadlock not to come to church how else will he hear the word and how will he get changed we have turned the gospel upside down now we are telling people change before you come to god but god says come the way you are he said go to the street and compel men to come to me god wants these people why because he loves them hallelujah for we were once sinners but by the grace of god we are now the righteousness of god in christ hallelujah so you have you got the opportunity to hear the word and your life was transformed why are you stopping somebody else from hearing the word jesus said do not offend one of these little ones because if you do it is better a stone is tied to your neck and you are thrown into the sea than for you to do that why because it is very dangerous hallelujah for you to take somebody out of the kingdom is a very 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 dangerous affair praise the lord matthew 18 6 hallelujah but whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea so it is very much important jesus god does not play with the souls because they are precious to him sir it is your responsibility to go out there and bring souls to god remember these souls how have all manner of attitude these souls are going through all manner of things but it's your duty to go and compel them to come into the house of god and it is god's duty to transform them you don't have the power to transform any man the only way transformation comes is by the word of god hallelujah so in conclusion the church is god's and he died for the church hallelujah so everything
everything in the church belongs to God. The souls inclusive. Your duty is to bring them and God's duty is to change them. So please let the church accept people so that their lives can be transformed in the precious name of Jesus. Remember, it is God's will that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. The knowledge, hallelujah. And it's only when they hear this truth that they can come to the knowledge. I pray that God will grant us the grace to do the right thing in the name of Jesus. Beloved, you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. These beautiful packages of the kingdom, you are not qualified. Hallelujah. Because your only qualification is in Jesus. If you are yet to accept Jesus, please pray alongside with me, say Heavenly Father, I thank you for the word. I thank you for what I have heard. And I thank you for saving me when I was yet a sinner. You died for me without me involving myself. And you, Father, from today, I will serve you. From today, I will worship you. I will be in your presence in Jesus' precious name. Beloved, you pray this prayer. You're now a child of God. All you need to do is look for a believing church. You are looking for a good church. You can attend Winners Chapel International Living Faith Church where they preach the truth and nothing but the truth. Hallelujah. And your life will be transformed. Then you read the word of God and you pray and God will see you through at the point of your need in Jesus' name. Until next time, I love you and I still remain in your homes. God bless you. Bye-bye.